Welcome back. I am talking about shallowing the club today. There's a few ways to do this. I'm going to give you one way to do it. Now I'm going to give you a drill with a golf club and without a golf club on how to do this. Now remember, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, notification bell, you'll get a video each week. Talking about shallowing the club. What happens, we get to the top of the backswing here, you can see the club head will slightly fall down and slightly behind you this way. Many of the recreational golfers, the high handicappers, over the top the club goes this way. You see all us on tour, the club goes this way, the club falls behind their hands, it comes down, hit the ball slightly from the inside. Now, as I said, two drills, two ways of doing it. So I'm going to do one with a golf ball, uh, one with a golf club, and then one throwing a golf ball. Now, the shallowing move is like skimming stones on the water. Remember your younger days? You get up there, throw the ball and skim the ball across the rock across the pond. That is the same motion. So there's a sequence of events that happens for this to shallow the club. It's like a throwing action. So if you're going to skim the stones, what happens? You push onto your left leg, you start to rotate, the elbow tucks in here, and then you release the ball. So it looks a little bit like this. So as you can see, first move, the legs, then there's a bit of rotation and the arm comes down and goes through. So how does that work with the golf club? Same principles. Top of the backswing, first move, push into your left leg. Little rotation, now the elbow is in front of the hip. And let it go through. From this view, with the ball, step, automatically watch happens. When I step, where did my hands go? They fall down towards my right pocket. Then you can rotate, the elbow now gets in front of the hip, release the ball through. Top of the backswing, push into the left leg. Where does the club want to go? It drops down, shallows. Then you rotate, now get the rotation gets the elbow in front and release through. So there is a sequence to it which helps you shallow the club. And that is the key for that. Pushing the left leg, rotate through. Now, some people are gonna shallow the club more than others. Now, if you've watched my previous videos, we talk about different types of grips, which will make you tuck the elbow or keep the elbow slightly out. So, if you've got a strong right hand grip, you are gonna tuck the most. You're gonna here, you're gonna have a lot of side bend, release through. You're gonna tuck, side bend, release through. Now, if you've got a neutral grip, you'll have a little bit of side bend, a little bit of tuck through. And if you don't have much, if you've got a weak right hand, you're not gonna have much side bend. It's not gonna bend over as much. So, strong right hand grip, tuck through. Neutral grip, so that's strong. See how the V points to the right shoulder? Now we go a, a neutral, which for the V would go between the right shoulder and the right ear. Not as much tuck, goes through. Not as much tuck, not as much side bend here. A little less, goes through. And then if you've got the weak grip, someone like Rory McIlroy, V on the left hand points more to the left ear. You're not gonna have much tuck at all. You're gonna be a little bit here and through. So it's not as much side bend. So, if you're wanting to learn how to shallow, start skipping stones on the pond. That's the easiest way to do it. If you've got any questions, please send me a message. If you want to comment, leave a comment in the comment section. I'm more than happy to answer any of your questions. If you need a lesson, I am teaching online at the Skillist app or in person at Keeper Golf Club in Australia.